evidence that the Build Back Better Biden agenda isn't making anything better in America. It's just not. House Democrats are trying to wipe out the term Bidenomics out of public messaging. And I told you this the first day I heard the term Bidenomics. I said, this is the worst PR move I have ever seen because they've admitted it's tone deaf. It's ineffective. It's dishonest to say, oh, Bidenomics is saving the planet. It's too bad since the term was one of the greatest things ever for conservative opponents. Anyway, we're going to keep using it here. It was their term. Axios now reporting that the phrase is nowhere to be found in any of the Democrat Congressional Campaign Committee and House Majority PACs public releases and posts. I can tell you where it's going to be. Republican ads, 24. Senior Democratic aides say they've been advised to stick with people over politics instead of the Bidenomics tagline. Mm. Even NBC noted that the president himself has stopped using the term as much in his prepared speeches. And in a major New York Times poll, voters indicate that they are far more likely to trust President Trump over Biden with the economy. Imagine that. Joining me live to discuss this, the former congressman and lieutenant colonel, Alan West. Colonel, nice to see you, sir. Good to be with you. Thanks so much, Steve. All right, so Bidenomics, you and I have talked about this, Colonel. Yeah. It was the worst idea since giving a man a Bud Light in a bathtub. It was. And, <laughs> and it's proven to be an absolutely disastrous PR move. They know it now. But look, he used it so many times in speeches, did the president. They're just going to replay his clips. You know, Bidenomics and Biden. I mean, he, he, he stood out there and said it over and over again. And there are, there are master craftsmen right now creating campaign uh, ads for the entire nation. Because Bidenomics isn't going away, even if Democrats try to ignore it, is it? No, it is not going away. And you're absolutely right. They have built their own uh, opposition research campaign ads and also memes and other themes because they continue to use it. And now they're realizing it's falling flat. But the everyday American citizen out here, they, they still feel it. They know that the gas prices are still too high. The food commodity prices are still too high. They know that their wages are not keeping up with those inflationary aspects. They know that because of the manipulation of interest rates to try to cover over the economic failures of this administration, uh, people aren't going.